What is up YouTube and welcome to this Tenet video. We'll be discussing the plane scene from the trailer and what has been revealed about it from the trailers and also the total film feature as it does look like it will be a pivotal scene and the nuggets of info reveal some very cool stuff about the movie and we will be talking in depth about the TV spot of the plane crash as it has some brand new audio there. As always if you're interested in never missing a video please do consider subscribing with notifications on and if you enjoyed the video then please do drop a like down below as it does help us out massively and we are now uploading daily content for you lovely people with that out of the way let's dive in so we know that the plane scene will be a pivotal part of the movie as it's a stupidly expensive and complex set piece shot and nolan decided that well it was actually cheaper to buy his own damn plane and top in his own dark knight rises iconic scene there big guy for you nolan prefers the physical effects and was very vocal in the total film spread about how people working on films really hate green screens I mean, I appreciate it highly as physical shots are superb and CGI can look very, very dated in years to come. I mean, look at Spy Kids. Before we discuss the TV spot, which I found while working on my last Tenet video, we need to talk about Elizabeth Debicki. So in the total film 14 page spread, which you can check out as it is out now on digital and also in shops, I'm not actually sponsored by Total Film. I mean, they completely ignored my request for work experience over 10 years ago. I'm not salty. I'm... I'm yeah, I am pretty soft. But the actress says that she was doing some under the covers acting, which means she was shooting her scenes away from the main unit. This is quite common to avoid major spoiler leaks, which happens a lot with the MCU movies. And they filmed a lot of the major Infinity War and Endgame scenes on a very tightly closed set with minimal crew there. She is quite clearly a major player in the movie and is romantically involved with Kenneth Branagh's Russian character. And as she is shooting behind closed doors, then this is a huge scene that either involves a major death or a big twist, which I do think it might be a big twist, to be honest. I am more leaning towards the idea that he is not a villain and he will have a twist where the true villain of the piece will be revealed later on. He is shown being chased by the Tenet squad and Debicki's character did look distressed. So it's not just black and white, which is really the best villains in the movies. And it's why Thanos was one of the only good villains in the MCU. He sort of had a point, but mass genocide really isn't a good idea. Also, if they are under the covers acting, then this could mean that she is inside the plane herself. And there has been big speculation here that Washington is also in the plane himself. Perhaps her undercover acting will reveal that she is bad, just like Branagh's character, which could be a very neat little twist there. But what does the TV spot tell us about the inversion and why the gas masks are being used? Well, a voiceover in the spot says that don't worry about things falling, worry about things rising, which is, well, things reversing in time. There's what we saw in the TV spot. We've seen the, this with the bullets and also with the objects that Washington's character uses in the science lab. The first part is the most interesting as the voiceover also says you are inverted, the world is not. This means that whenever they are wearing gas masks, much like in this TV spot, they are actually inverted. And this opens up our whole world of speculation for the movie, as it now sort of gives us a timeline for each scene, as we have our own very totem here, which is the gas mask, not Cobb's own spinning little top there. So if the world is not inverted, this means it is running normal, a long time's arrow from A to B, Big bang to gigantic fire destruction of the entire universe. Throughout the TV spot, things are rising and firemen are walking backwards as the water goes into their hoses as they go back in time. The world is visibly going back to how it should be pre-crash. But that's nothing new. We should, we did see that in the trailer and the voice over here is the biggest part in my opinion. Gas masks and breathing apparatus have been key in every single trailer and TV spot. So when they're inverted, it is not safe for them to breathe. I'm a bit unsure why they can't breathe when they are inverted themselves, but it might be due to chemistry changes or air moving around them in a different way. But that is just complete speculation. I'll admit, I don't really know or have a theory about that. Another weird part of this trailer is how we see them carrying a body. So if they are inverted, they are going back in time, which means as the world is returning to how it is, they are going back to the past, essentially. The crew could be called to this plane crash after it actually crashed, and they are going in and being all sort of inverted and all that madness going on, and they have a body. So what body is this? I think it could either be John David Washington or one of the Tenet crew. 
He thinks that he should be dead in the trailer when talking to Brenner. So what if this is what he's talking about? If you can actually bring people back from the dead using the inversion method. I agree that that is very, very left field, but curious nonetheless. And I do think that they are planning John David Washington's body there for him to interact with the Russian, or they are trying to sneak even more people on. With that in mind, it's pretty crazy there. And so... They're putting their body on there. Debbie on the plane. That's where her undercover acting is. But let me know what you think. Do you, are you, do you think this or do you think something else? I would love to know all your theories. And I may even make videos on the theories you put in the comments down below and give you full credit as well. But irregardless, this is big as we know that they, well, if you're inverted, you have to use assisted breathing. It's something we all sort of thought, but it is more or less confirmed here, to be honest. But that is it for this video. Please do thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please do subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a video. And I'll see you tomorrow for a Snowpiercer video. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.